Hey guys, it's me, Sammy here, and I'm about to film my part one tour of my American Girl doll Halloween house. As you can see, I have some decorations for Halloween, so let me just give you a tour. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so can you not? Okay, so the way the dolls enter is by this door right here, and this is a My Froggy printable. And so then there's this door, and I just taped it up because it was too short for American Girl dolls them nicely and if you're wondering why it keeps stop recording my camera does that sometimes but anyways I have this a little scarecrow thingy here that I bought at a local pumpkin patch and she has a stand and she just stands here by the door as a little decoration then right here I have this um, little play thingy that the dogs jump on from the um, pet set from American Girl I'm just using and then I have this little pumpkin basket thing that I need to fill up with candy but um, this is like a little doll sized trick or treat basket and I have no idea where I got this somebody gave it to me but it's really cute and it's perfectly doll sized okay so now on to the first room right here I have this fireplace from the journey girl set then right here I have another one of those little jack-o-lanterns and then this catching fire book then right here I have the flames Turn this on, there's a little on off switch. And then the flames shine right there. So then on top of the fireplace, I have this little like collage thingy that somebody made me. Um, I think it was AG Doll of. And if I'm wrong, then her name will be right here. And then I have this pack of Haribo little gummy berry thingies, like a little fruit snacks that I believe Dolls and Friends gave me. So that's right there. And then a little doll sized fan. Then back there I have a TV from the Journey Girls loft bed set that my sister Da vinci from TV. And then we have this glass of orange juice and a can of Pepsi that somebody gave me. Back here I have this really sucky collage that I made with orange sticky notes. I have a jack-o-lantern, a witch, a ghost, a scarecrow face, a sign that says candy with a little candy-ish thingy. I don't know, I just ran out of things to draw. And a little candy corn with candy and black writing. Right here is a table that my dad made for me with screws, duct tape, wood, and a piece of marble from Home Depot. Back here we have this doll-sized pumpkin that's actually a candle. Then I have on the table this little like I don't know, rainbowy drink that my sister dropped and shattered, but this is from an Etsy shop. And right here I have this little plate with a mug from American Girl and a little strawberry cookie. And the same on this one, except I have some crunch on that plate. Then right here I have this another glass of orange juice and then a little candy apple from our generation and a little tea light. Then back there I have a little another jack-o-lantern and then a pitcher of orange juice that went with this from American Girl and a stand of cupcakes from our generation. And we have Logan checking out the food of course. On top of the refrigerator I have this basket from Shopkins and it's filled with napkins for the dolls and then two bowls and a pan because these are way huge and I have nowhere to put them. Next, I have this Basil Mentos meet and greet little sign that Basil Mentos gave out when I went to our San Francisco meet and greet. And this is from the Our Generation kitchen set, this refrigerator right here. If we look inside, we have a bunch of different food. And I'm not going to go through that because it's a lot. And in the refrigerator, we have like storage and as well as some freezer foods. Right next to that, we have the bed and breakfast little tray. And then there's Annabeth who is in front of the sink about to do the dishes, so let me move her. Okay, so here we have the sink and back there is like a view of the forest that I found on Google that I thought was pretty. And that's in their window. Then right here we have a little container, like a Tupperware container from our generation. And then we have a little pretzel, like a yogurt covered pretzel that my sister like painted and I made. And then we have some containers from our generation. And then, of course, we have another Journey Girls loft bed TV with Doctor Who playing, because Doctor Who is life. Right here we have the clock, and there's just some random stuff. Cereal boxes and little jars. 
the microwave with some popcorn. We have another jack-o'-lantern. Just a bunch of random stuff here. The oven, which has some pastries in there. Little storage unit. Right here we have Pepper's um, little food bowl and dish. More storage where I keep all my like knives and bowls and whatnot. And again, this is also part of the Our Generation kitchen set. Oh, and AG Doll Love made me this towel. Super cute. I like to hang it so that when the dolls are like taking out the dishes, she can just wipe her hands on this when it gets wet. Then the last thing in the kitchen is this poster, and it's of coconut, and it's from the posters pack set that Butterfly Candy sent me. And then hanging right here is a tack. And hanging from that is this little key ring I made. The key ring itself is from an actual key ring. And then this little miniature key my mom just had and she let me borrow. And then I have this little Lego blind bag figure. And if you watch the and if you watch the Lego movie, you know this is Lord Business. And I just hot glued him onto this little mini key ring. And so that's like the keys to the house. Just right there. Then right next to this is my smaller dollhouse. That is my original dollhouse. As you can see, it's just next to each other. And right here is the last room for this part of the room tour. And I have my vintage room. This is Xylia's bedroom because Xylia is very vintage and she likes vintage items like that. So I'm just going to move Pepper here who's wearing some sunglasses for Halloween and Xylia and give you a closer look of this room. So back there are some posters and if you're wondering the accent walls that I covered, this is contact paper that I found at the thrift store for 25 cents. It's super pretty and I think it's super vintage. But anyways, back there is some pictures that are pictures I found on Tumblr under the hashtag or like the search vintage and I think those photos are both really really pretty then we have Xylia's bed which is just an American Girl box covered with a piece of really long fabric so I have a pillow that I found at the thrift store then this pillow somebody made me the American Girl nutmeg pillow and this pillow that I sewed my first attempt at a pillow then right here I have the blanket from Julie's um, birthday set and the hat Xylia was wearing. It's from our generation and I customized it with this brown bow. Then right there is a bookshelf that I made out of an our generation box and on there I have this little stuffed animal from Justice, another one of those little tea lights. I think it's really cute. And then a little fairy from Tinkerbell and a teacup. Right next to that I have a poster for the Beatles. And next to that poster, I have Emily's meat dress, which I think is super vintage. So I just have it hanging on an our generation hook. Then right in this corner right here, we have Xylia's dresser. And on her dresser, we have this teapot that my mom just had and that I took from her. And then this little teacup from the our generation teacup set. A little bottle of sample perfume that my mom had. I think it's super, super cute. It's like a dove two doves and there's actually perfume in it and then these are all sitting on an our generation handkerchief which I think really ties it together and right there we have a mirror and then there's me hey guys can't re even really see me in the mirror but yeah there's a mirror that's from Hallmark and it's silver with some cute little flowers on it Right there is the phone from the Our Generation kitchen set. And then some envelopes from American Girl and a little tea party invite that I just have to show you guys. So cute. So it's, it's time for tea from the Our Generation tea set. And this dresser is a jewelry box. And in here is just a bunch of random stuff. I really love this little key necklace that I made out of an our generation key from their trunk set. I'm just gonna take that out. Just a bunch of random stuff in here. And then we have this poster from also from Tumblr. And it's just like a bunch of dresses through the ages. I thought was really cool.
So that is Xylia's vintage bedroom. So that is a closer look at my American Girl doll house during Halloween. Don't forget to check out part two and three when those are up. I'll leave the links in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, for subscribing, and for leaving lovely comments, and I'll see you then. Bye guys!